Molly Anna had taken a glad game to Mr. Pendergast and Mrs. Snow, and she took it to the Reverend Ford, too. On the day before the bazaar, her Aunt Polly sent her with a message to the Reverend. Polly Anna found him practicing his sermon all by himself on a grassy meadow. You! What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Um, I mean, I was looking for you. Uh, Aunt Polly sent you this. Now, what is it? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry I disturbed your practice. Would you like someone to practice your sermon on? No, no, thank you, John. Uh, Mother and I used to be an audience to my father when he was practicing his sermons. He, he was a minister too, you know. Oh, yes, yes, so he was. Uh, do you like being a minister? Do I like being a... Now, why would you ask a thing like that? Oh, the way you looked just then reminded me of my father. Once I saw him sort of sad like that, and I asked him, And what did he say? Hmm. Hmm. Said he was glad he was. But it made him sad sometimes when he just couldn't seem to get through to his congregation. Sounds familiar. I suppose every minister of God faces the same problem. Hmm, I suppose. Tell me, did your father ever solve the problem? Well, he read something one day that said helped him. In the Bible? No, just something he read someplace. He had it put on this chain. He wore it always. It's all I have of his. When you look for the bad... May I? Mm. When you look for the bad in mankind expecting to find it, you surely will. Abraham Lincoln. He was the president. Yes, yes I know. But I never heard that before. Neither of my father. Anyway, he said it started him thinking. And from then on, he was going to look for the good in people. That's when we both started searching for the Bible for the texts. The texts? Yes. You know. My father called them the glad passages. You know. The happy ones, like, um, uh, shout for joy, or be glad in the Lord. You know, like that. There are 800 happy texts. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yes, well, there are. And you know, my father said, if God took the trouble to tell us 800 times to be glad and rejoice, he must have wanted us to do it. Oh, I'd better be going now. I'm sorry I disturbed your practicing. I'll see you later. Uh, goodbye. Next day in his pulpit, Reverend Ford gave us a real humdinger of a sermon, one like we'd never heard before, full of glad verses from the Bible. Apocrypha? Ecclesiasticus 30, paragraph 22. Gladness of the heart is the life of man. Now, this is one of the rejoicing or happy texts. A young member of our parish pointed out to me that there are 800 such happy texts in our Bible. Well, she was wrong. There are, to be exact, 826. I know because I stayed up most of last night counting them. I intend to read one of them every week. And that should take us, according to my calculations, through 16 years. If I'm around here that long. But I can promise you this, if I am here, our visits with God on Sunday are going to be happier 
and more rejoicing, too. When the happy sermon was over, Reverend Ford told everybody about the bazaar, and he hoped everybody would attend. But in spite of what he said, Aunt Polly was still against it. What's worse, she wouldn't let Pollyanna go. Well, as you know, I'm the best tree climber in Harrington Town, so it was easy for me to climb up the big oak outside Pollyanna's window. Together, we climbed down the tree and went to the bazaar. <laughs>